Hello there. This is the family doctor. Back of that big hand of yours. Uh, you ought to know better than to do me like that. Uh, gosh, the Friday. What if I had a weak heart or, or, or something? Oh, you ain't got a weak heart, Doc. <laughs> no, sir. Yours is the strongest, biggest, and warmest heart in Cedarton. Huh? Me? Yes. Sir. Well, what are you talking about? Say, listen, Bill, just because you're chief of police here, don't you think you can go around slapping people on the back and scaring them half to death, besides insulting their physical condition? <laughs> Yeah, I get you, Doc. Well, uh, going in the doctrine business must be kind of slow right now. What do you mean? Well, you were standing out here in front of Rankins' hardware, just uh, staring into the front window. Uh, what you looking at so hard, Doc? Well, I, I was just looking at that spade there, mm. thinking it was about time to dig up the old bulbs and separate them for next season. By golly, I think you're right, Doc. Yeah, yeah, it won't be long now. Gosh, how the time do fidget, as the man says. Dark man. Oh, the, 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 well, how do I know what man? <laughs> Say, that, that is a powerful, good-looking spade, ain't it? Looks like it could stand a heap of wear and tear. Yep. And I'll have to be seeing Jess about one of them pretty soon. Well, Doc, uh, 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 as things as slow in your line as they is in mine, why, uh, we ain't had a particle excitement for nigh on to a month now. Well, that speaks pretty well for the folks of Cedarton. Yeah, but do. It sure do. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you been uh, keeping busy, Doc? Say, now, you listen to me, Chief Benson. You've been standing here for five minutes trying to pump me about my practice. What's the idea? Oh, it's just being a good copper to keep your eyes, ears, and nose open, Doc. You know, never can tell when you'll pick up a clue. Yeah. Yep, I... Yeah, I see the light burning. Oh, oh, stop uh, yawning or talking or something. Yeah, well, I, I just said I ain't seen the light of burning in your office of late. No. Uh, ain't, uh, ain't been so active of recent, huh? All right, all right, I'll tell you. No, I haven't been busy. I haven't had a patient for three days. I don't have any outstanding accounts payable, and I don't expect to have a patient for a long time, maybe ten years. Mm. Oh, say, look, Doc. Huh? What do you see? Uh, that young fellow over there across the street. Yeah. Huh? Well, what about him? He looks a heap suspicious to me. What? Oh, Bill Benson, <laughs> you're talking through your hat. Well, I don't know now. I've been watching him for a couple of days. He don't do nothing except walk around the streets all day long. And I ain't been able to find him at nights at all. That must have made you mad. Yeah. That, what? No, 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 no. He didn't do nothing of the kind. I'm just a looking out for the safety of the citizens of this city. I aim to keep the peace of Cedarton. And one sure way to do it is to keep my eye on all suspicious characters. Well, now, I can't say that I see anything particularly suspicious about a young man walking around the streets, even if he is a stranger to town. Uh, I'm going to find out anyhow. Hey, there! Well, you don't want to do that. Quiet, Doc. I'll handle this. Hey, you young fella! Who, me? Yeah, you. Come on over here. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll find out about him soon enough. <laughs> did... Did... did, did... <clears throat> Did you call me, sir? Yes, I did. Hmm. 
Uh-huh. Yes, sir? Where are you from, young fella? From, from back east. Where back east? Oh, mostly New York State. Uh-huh. What's your name? Uh, Chick. Chick Harper. Chick? What do you mean, Chick? Well, my, my real name is Charles, but they've always called me Chick. They? Who are they? Well, I don't know. Everybody. All my friends. Bill, what are you trying uh, to do? Oh, wait a minute, Doctor. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. The bottom of what? Have I done anything I shouldn't? I don't know, young fella. That's what I'm going to find out. What are you doing in Cedarton? Well, I, I'm going to get a job. Job? Where do you expect you'll find a job in Cedarton? All the jobs are taken. A friend of mine's going to get me one. Friend? What friend? Johnny Kemp. Oh, I see. Johnny Kemp. Ain't he the young fella that was acquitted of bank robbery a while back? Bill, Hold you... your horses, Doc. Hold your horses. Well, young fella, Chick Harper, as you call yourself, just let me tell you this. We're peace-loving folks here in Cedarton, and we don't stand no monkey business. That's why I'm chief of police. Yes, sir. Anybody that wants to come here and make his home is perfectly welcome. Yes, sir. But uh, let the fellow that wants trouble come to our town, and, well, he'll get it. We've got ways of taking care of him. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. That's all, young fellow. You can go your way. Thank you, sir. Well, Doc... <clears throat> I'd say, Chief of Police Benson, that as a committee of one, you certainly made that boy welcome to Cedar. Uh, that's all right now. We we won't have any misapprehensions about uh, what's expected of him if he expects to live here. No, I guess he won't. And now, uh, let me see. What was we talking about? Talking? Well, I don't know that I... Oh, I, I recollect now. We was discussing the general health of the townsfolk. Oh, yes. So we were. And I said that I ain't seen that you've been none too busy of late. Yeah. And uh, you said that... That the uh, folks in Cedarton are all perfectly healthy, and I'm glad of it. Yeah, yeah. So you was, Doc. So you was. But that ain't it at all. Huh? What do you mean? I mean that uh, that you're just too good a sawbones, that's all. It's you that keeps them healthy. Oh, fiddle. Fiddle nothing. It's true. Why... Listen, do you know what you should ought to do? You should ought to go around and give them all a dose of something or other to make them sick once in a while, just to keep busy. <laughs> mm. Well, Bill, I won't have to worry about you coming around to see me pretty soon. Uh, huh? Me? What darnation you mean? What are you talking about? How much do you weigh, Bill? Me? Oh, I don't know, about a 195, I reckon. Oh, go on. Well, I do. Yeah, all of that, and a good heap more. What? Why, if you don't weigh at least 225 pounds, I'll be a cast-off coin cop. Well, what if I do? What if I weigh 325 pounds? What about it? What about it? <laughs> Listen, Doc. But, uh, what are you trying to tell me? I know you. When you laugh like that, you got something on your mind. Well, Bill... I'll tell you. I don't want to scare you. <laughs> Go ahead, Doc. Did you ever hear of Fatty Heart? Fatty Heart? Well, good gosh, Doc, no. <laughs> uh, don't laugh. It's very serious. Oh, serious, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Fatty Heart, well, what does it mean, Doc? It means that men of your age and your weight are often afflicted with the disease of the heart, which comes from the subcardiac region being surrounded with portions of fat, uh, which eventually induce a slowing down of the heart action, and finally, well, death. Uh, yeah. That uh, often happens. <coughs> Say, Bill, you haven't noticed yourself breathing heavily lately, have you? Well, yes, I have, Doc. Ah, and have you noticed yourself finding it more difficult to get up from the dinner table? Well, yes, I have, to tell the truth. Ah, uh, uh, What is it, Dr. Adams? I, am I a sick man? I'm afraid you might be. If you aren't now, Bill, you might be soon. Oh, oh my. Just watch those symptoms, and if you note any aggravation of them, well, you'd better give me a call, Bill. Uh, yeah, better give me a call. Uh, well, uh, uh, Doc, I think I'd best be... Get back to the station house, or maybe I'll go on home. Don't look as though there'd be uh, nothing doing in town today. No, it doesn't, Bill. No, but, well, uh, so long, Doc. So long, Bill. And don't forget, if you notice any of those symptoms, don't forget to call me. No, no, I, I won't forget, Doc. I, I won't forget. <laughs> well, I'd best get down to the office early tomorrow morning. I'll probably be needed at the Benson residence. <laughs> uh, 
Bill. Well, Bill, I got your message. Mrs. Adams said you were feeling pretty low. Oh, Dr. Adams, I'm, I'm a dying man. Oh, I don't think so, Chief. Here, let me feel your pulse. Hmm. <laughs> Am I a dying man, Doc? No, not exactly. In fact, I'd say you were almost a perfect physical specimen. Yes, I... Huh? What do you mean? Why, you aren't sick, Bill. Not sick? Well, listen... Yesterday you took... Yes, yes, I know. I filled your mind with a lot of crazy ideas about breathing heavily and the like. Well, I... I made you think that all the little things you might notice about your own life were symptoms of a very dangerous disease of the heart. I made you think you were sick, Bill. You aren't sick at all. Not sick? Well, well, listen, Doc. You oughtn't have done a thing like that to me. I might have died right in your hands. Oh, no. You won't die yet, Bill. Uh, Not of a fatty heart. You might have trouble with something else, though. Oh, my golly. What do you mean now, Doc? I mean you might have trouble very soon with a fatty brain. Fatty brain? Yes, fatty brain. It might interest you to know, Chief of Police Benson, that a certain suspicious character around Cedarton has actually landed a job. You mean... uh... Chick Harper. Chick Harper? That that young fellow... You questioned yesterday in front of Rankin's Hardware, yes. Landed a job? Where? His friend, Johnny Kemp, found it for him. He's taken over Johnny's job at May's Drugstore. Oh. Oh, I see. Well... What are you laughing at? I get it, Doc. I get it. You get what? <laughs> Fatty brain. Fat head. <laughs> yep, that's me, all right. And I deserve it right enough. Yes, sir. Okay. You taught me my lesson. I won't take nobody for a crook now until I know they're a crook from now on. A man is innocent till he's proved guilty. That's what it says. What it says? The, the, the declaration, the, the it's Constitution. And it's right. Yes, sir. Fatty brain. <laughs> Well, all the symptoms of your heart trouble seem to have left you all of a sudden. Uh, Doc, I see it all now. I just thought I had him. Just like I thought that young fella, Chick Watts, his name might be a crook. All I got to say, though, Doc, is that I was right. Right? Yep. When I said as how you've got the strongest, biggest, warmest heart in Cedarton. Yes, sir. <clears throat> well, I still say you'd be a whole heap better if you'd take off a little weight. <laughs> <laughs> This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye.